Meet DALI. DALI is an open AI which generates images using 100% artificial intelligence. So what does that mean? It means that every image you are currently seeing did not exist prior to when they were generated. It's basically a giant brain that uses the whole of the internet to create unique imagery within 20 seconds. The concept is simple. Input your information and wait. The system then renders variations of the image you requested. For instance, if I type in a Renaissance painting of a bulldog wearing an ornate crown, these are the images that we are given. When I first gained access to the system, my brain literally could not process what was happening. It was like I was given the key to the universe. The only thing I can compare this to is when I was given access to the internet for the first time in my life. To know that anything, anything in existence could be summoned within seconds was almost too much for my brain to comprehend. Now fast forward years later and here we are. Mankind's entire known history has been discovered and we've reached essentially the end of the internet. We've beat the game. So where does that leave us? As our insatiable appetite for information continues, we turn to artificial intelligence for answers, a new perspective, a world where our collective consciousness breeds a path to a new frontier. But before we go there, let's discuss some of the immediate implications of this technology. Maybe you're a filmmaker looking to storyboard your ideas in order to get a clear vision of what the final outcome might look like. All right, so maybe we're making a movie and maybe this movie is based in Japan. We want it to be moody, so we'll start with that. Go moody, rainy Tokyo city, shadowy figure holding an umbrella, 50 millimeter, realistic. So we're adding lots of inputs there, such as uh, realistic. It could be a digital rendering, could be anything we'd like it to be. Here we go. <laughs> so we've got these moody pictures here of a shadowy figure holding an umbrella in Tokyo. Like, look at this, look at the detail here. And because we used 50 millimeter, we're getting that 50 millimeter lens on this shot. We're getting that nice bokeh with the lights in behind. So that's a beautiful picture that uh, I probably couldn't even take a picture that well in real life. Let's have the next scene, underground metro, long exposure, neon lights. So as you can see, we're getting some pretty cool visuals here. It's recognized the long exposure, the underground metro. You can start to get a really good vibe of what the project you're working on is going to potentially look like or could look like, or it could even give you inspiration. So pretty cool. From focal lengths to perspectives, landscapes, lighting, and mood, there are no limits. Maybe you're thinking of creating NFTs. You wanna generate 10,000 random images for your project. Let's go with a dog wearing a pirate hat holding a cigar. Blue background, digital art. It's really interesting what it's done here because it's mixed a cigar with a pipe. Here it's even mixed what looks like the cigar with a telescope. Uh, it mixed a cigar with a bone here. So the AI is a little bit wacky sometimes, but uh, the, like I said, the more specific you get in your style, the better it's going to turn out. What about an album cover? Maybe the album cover art that we're looking for is something uh, dinosaur playing a guitar by Campfire, the acoustic dinosaurs, I don't know. But if you want an album cover, now you've got a whole bunch of album art at your disposal. If the style isn't specified, it'll generate a number of different styles for you to enjoy. And each one seems like they're made by an actual person. He seems to be wearing a hat in a lot of these, and I guess, I guess they just really wanted him wearing a hat, but look at this. But let's say that this uh, doesn't fit your style because it's a little too cartoony. So maybe we need a realistic version. Now we got a shot of a dinosaur playing guitar by a campfire and what that would look like if we were to shoot that dinosaur with a 50 millimeter lens. It looks as though the engine is generated like a baby toy di dinosaur, but you get the idea. Or maybe you're looking for inspiration for a new design. All right, let's say we're doing some designs and we need some design inspiration. Maybe we want a chair in the shape of a hand. So maybe we want a chair in the shape of a hand. 
what would that look like? So we got some design inspirations here. Some of them, <laughs> some of them a little less ergonomic than the others, but again, different styles. This one seems really interesting as uh, it seems like the shadow is the hand, which is cool. This one I find super interesting. This one's got six fingers, so there you go. <laughs> or maybe we just want a piece of artwork in the home. How about a statue of a jumping dog made of marble? So here we are, we've got some artwork here of a jumping dog made of marble. Again, varying styles. All of them look pretty realistic. Maybe we want to design an entire house. Modern villa overlooking the beach, flat roof, glass balcony. Wow, this is incredible. Now we have design ideas for days that could inspire maybe some new architecture, maybe some new ideas if you're looking to build a home. You can even take existing photos and ask for variants. This is where it gets extremely interesting because not only will it generate any photo that I want it to, it'll also regenerate my own photos. So here's an image of me basically dressed up in a costume with a helmet and I'm in front of a puzzle that I solved. You might remember this puzzle and I'm interested to see what the AI will make of this and what kind of variants for A, the puzzle and B, the being behind it. Uh, I'm excited to see what comes out of this. Wow. <laughs> I mean, not only is it creating an astounding new sort of variant of what I was, even the puzzle. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Every single one of these puzzles looks like alien technology. I can actually edit this and, and let's say I wanna give it a spaceship background. So here we go. Now, some of these variants are gonna be a little bizarre as you can see, however, some of them, like this one, turned out pretty cool. This one as well. This one's probably my favorite right here. So I know that it recognizes that it's a costume, that it's a helmet, and I'm just really blown away by the amount of creativity behind this. Okay, this is the original image. And these... And these are its variants. They're beautiful. They look real. They're giving me ideas for new costumes. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. So here, you've got my hand in this, in this sort of picture. You've got a glass. You've got a coin, me pushing the coin through the glass. Wow. Okay. So let's go through these. It's recognized my hand. It's recognized a tattoo and a ring. Uh, it recognized a jar here. So it made it a jar. Now, Again, these are not real images that exist out there. These are completely generated. It's even added water into this little jar here. Anything in any style imaginable. A cat with a pearl earring. Johannes Vermeer a photo of two dogs hugging. Dinosaur bones in a, a sandbox. A macro box. photo of a wolf spider Polaroid reading a book. Of a pyramid on Mars. Stained glass window with a bee a on a jetpack. Realistic photo of a pig on a skateboard. A scuba in the diver city. discovering an ancient sunken city. The Last city. Supper painting, but or with praying mantis. oil painting of a surfer surfing through the galaxy. Like anything else, we'll eventually grow tired of information we have access to. So maybe we turn to AI for concepts that are not yet imaginable. Like, what does time travel look like? Or the inside of an alien craft? How about an interdimensional portal? The future of mankind? Or the afterlife? The implications of this are not only fascinating, exciting, and mind-blowing, they are also potentially dangerous in the wrong hands. So when signing up for this, I agreed to follow the guidelines that were set out for me. No nudity, no faces, no violence, no politics. It's easy to see how quickly this could all take a turn for the worst, which is why I'm very happy that a competent and passionate team are behind this, ensuring safety and nurturing a community of creatives to do what they do best. And as with most leaps in technology, it isn't to be taken lightly, but rather something to be revered, something to inspire humanity and help us extend our potential. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It means a lot. And subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more. See ya.